This is a Fox News Alert. I'm Rick Leventhal in Los Angeles. You've been watching protesters starting fires and looting stores, forcing Minnesota to bring in the National Guard, along with other cities and states, to control these riots. Activists have been clashing with police and taunting officers. The protesters uh, using their voices and their actions to bring attention to a cause. But is all of this fire and looting and violence derailing the efforts to bring justice for the death of George Floyd. Joining us now is Brian Claypool, a civil rights attorney. Brian, I tried to speak with you earlier, couldn't hear you. Are you there now? Yeah, I'm here, Rick. Thanks for having and, me. And your thoughts on what you're seeing uh, and the results of, or, or the impact of these protests considering the violence that's been going with them. Yeah, Rick, much like you earlier in the week when I saw the protests begin in Minnesota and then other cities, I felt a sense of empowerment, that we're all going to collectively come together and finally make some change in this country to eliminate racism within these police departments. And then now we see the looting, the destruction in Minnesota, Atlanta, and now you and I, a few miles away from Melrose Avenue, seeing buildings burnt down and glass broken and people stealing things. I really believe, Rick, that this is a test for all of us. We all have to look beyond these these looters and these criminals and these thieves. We've got to rise above that and realize that we really need to carry out George Floyd's legacy. And we need yeah. to do that by making positive change. But 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 how sad is it that, that the message is being lost with the with the violence that, that's being perpetrated on, on businesses and on, on police across America? Yeah that's the point though. It can't be lost. I really believe from a spiritual standpoint, this is a test for all of us. I mean, we're all, yeah. We all are focused right now on the fires, the broken glass, the stolen products. We have to refocus. I, I realize we've got to rebuild the buildings and these small businesses and get people's lives back together. But we can't lose the focus because George Floyd and these other African-American men have not died in vain. We've got yeah. to carry it forward. Now, Senator Lindsey Graham, he's holding a hearing next week on the use of force. That's a good start. But Rick, might I suggest, I've been handling these cases for over a decade. We also need to examine training. Training on the job, what, what mechanisms are used, and sensitivity training. And you've got to look at leadership from top to bottom. I mean, this was Well, no I, I think all of America, all of America's with you, Brian Claypool, on that. And all of America's examining a lot of things in the wake of all of these demonstrations and protests. We gotta leave it there. We will be right back after this.